China's got the best map of the moon, and they did send a probe to the other side. So China is looking at the other side. One thing that I like to point out about the moon, 209 moons in the solar system. If you went and looked at all the moons mm -hmm. around every planet, because some of them have multiple ones, so there are a bunch of them. None of them, as would be expected mathematically, perfectly occlude the sun. They do not have eclipses. Do we know that for a fact? Yeah. Because you know the size of the object. So you know if you're on Jupiter and you measure Callisto, a moon of Jupiter, that's pretty easy to figure out. You know, that thing is that size. Would it cover the sun perfectly? And mathematically, just think about it. What's the likelihood of one object that's in front of you between you and another object being perfectly matching it? In other words, and this is what causes it, the moon is one four hundredth the diameter of the sun. So you stretch out 400 moons, you'd have the mm -hmm. diameter of the sun. Mm -hmm. And it's, but the sun is 400 times further away. I talk about hitting the lottery. <laughs> exactly, Danny. Exactly. The likelihood of any one object doing that, it's much more likely it's going to be a tad bigger, a tad smaller, a shitload bigger, mm -hmm. shitload smaller. But ours, for whatever reason, and it also always faces us, that's not always the case either. I don't think it's the case in any of them. We've got an unusual moon. 